Tesly, my Esly. Oh boy, what are we going to do with you? Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. In this example, I've made a little Excel sheet. I made some math, did some calculations, and I'm going to show you exactly what these clowns at YieldMax are doing to deceive you into making you think that you're receiving income. What is income? It's money generated from providing a good or service. You go to work, you get paid. Yeah, buy something and sell it for a higher price. The profit is income. Income is basically new money coming into you that you did not have before. What is Tesla? Well, besides being a clownish option income strategy ETF that charges you 1% to underperform the underlying security, it's just a quick and easy deception where you are given your own money back that you put into it and you are being convinced that you're actually receiving income when you're not. You're giving your own money back. If I invest in a stock and it pays me a dividend or if I buy uh, interest, if I buy a bond and I receive interest, that's income. I buy the bond, I receive interest, earnings in excess of my initial investment. If I give somebody 20 bucks and they give me back five, they just give me back five bucks the next day, I just got my money back. <laughs> I don't know why this is complicated, but let's go ahead and do a little mathematical example that's going to show you why what Tesla is doing is actually really hurting themselves in the long run, the fund managers, and how the income you're not receiving is totally clownish. So we have this example here. We have Camaro, of course, with a clown nose. We're going to go through an example of where we've invested $100,000 into an investment and the underlying investment return, this is the money that the fund managers are actually making, not giving to us, but are actually making. They're making 5% per year, whatever. They're making 5% per year. So they take our 100000 they do whatever investing they got to do, and they pay us, or they earn 5% per year. Now the fund managers are going to say, hey, we know retail is a bunch of dopes and clowns. So even though we're only making 5%, we're going to give them back 2000 a month. And they're going to think that they're making $2,000 a month of income. When in reality, we're only making 5%. And if you take 5% of 100000 you get $5,000 a year. So you're making $5,000 a year, but they're giving you back $24,000. Does that sound sustainable? Well, let's go ahead and see how long this lasts. So I have this little thing here. I have months. This is how many months we've been invested. This is the beginning investment balance as of the beginning of the month. This is the real income that was earned for that month. That's the 5% divided by 12. That's how much money they made doing whatever they're doing. Then they pay us 2000 So you can already see a problem here. The first month, they make $416.67, but they pay us $2,000. What is our ending investment balance? $98,416.67. We gave them hundred grand. They made four sixteen sixty seven dollars in a month. They paid us $2,000. The difference between those two is return of capital. Out of that $2,000 payment, 20% is derived from underlying income and 79%, 79.17% to be precise, is money that's just being given back to us. Are you starting to see what's going to happen here? So now that they've given us more back than we put into it, and only a fraction of it was earnings, at the beginning of month two, they only have 98416 to generate money from. So from that amount, they're able to generate $410 of profit, of actual real income. But they still got to give us $2,000. And if they pay us $2,000, the ending investment balance in month two is 96826 We can see that the income percentage of the payment has dropped because they have less money to invest in the fund. They're going to be able to generate less profit so you can see it starts to get into the spiral where every month the amount of earnings they can actually 
generate is smaller because they have a, a smaller amount that they can invest because they're giving you your money back. And if they give you your money back, how are they going to, what money are they going to have to generate returns? Okay. But you dividend people, you think these 2000 payments are like real income. They're not only the different, only this is real income. If they're making 5% with your money, anything that's given back to you in excess of that is just giving you your money back. Are you starting to understand? So as we go down over time, guess what happens? Oh, <gasps> after 57 months, oh no, they only have $367 left in the fund. They're able to generate $1.53 of earnings and they're only able to pay you $369 back. <laughs> So the more they give you back, the less capital they have to generate returns. That's why these things drop. Okay, look. Look, it's so e it's so easy to understand. And I own a share of this. This thing has dropped like a rock because they're giving you back more than you put into it. Do you understand what they're doing? So people are like, oh, bro. Oh, did it go up today? Oh, it's up 4.57%, bro. And they think they're crushing it. But if you zoom out, this is inevitably what happens. And I guarantee you the payments that they start distributing over time, I mean, it's going to be good months. Like they've had like a little rally in Tesla. Over time, the income that you generate is going to be less and less and less because there's less capital in the investment because they're giving you back more than they've earned in underlying earnings. But you really think... You can get 55% returns per year. You think that number represents income. It's not. They're giving you your money back. Okay. This is a very simple example. And it's like super simplified. Okay. Obviously, it's more complex than this. But this is basically it. <laughs> they made 416, but they give you back 2,000. You think the 2,000 is income. Only the 416 is income. What don't you understand about this? You're listening to this clown and other doofuses that are leading you to the slaughterhouse. This is going to annihilate you. And I'm doing this little experiment right here, right? And shockingly, I'm actually up because the share price of Tesla has recovered recently. I'll, bro, so you made money on Tesla, why? <laughs> so I invested in this in on may 3rd and i put 15 dollars 93 cents i received a 69 cent dividend and i reinvested the entire dividend now if we go back up and look i have 16 dollars 29 cents so my total return is the what i have now divided by what i initially invested and i've made two percent on this but you think that you're making more because of the 69 cent dividend. What you think I made in a month, in a month, is 0 0.69 divided by 59.93. You think I made 4%. My total return is half of that because most of this is fake income. Somebody tell me how this is misleading. I put in $15.93, all dividends are reinvested, and I now have $16.28 after this little Tesla rally that's... I don't even know why freaking Tesla's rallying, okay? <laughs> Can somebody freaking tell me, okay? So please, if you're confused, I just, I, 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 I want to hear co contradicting opinions. I really want somebody to tell me how this is wrong. And what you're doing is yeah, you've cracked the code to unlimited wealth. Do you really think you've done that? Or are you a clown? Talk to you later.